happiness the surrounding green Freshness, sweetness, happiness that the surrounding green Take care of the nature before it takes care of you Welcome to another exciting episode of Earth Check. My name is Anne Masheri. This Super Wednesday, we have an exciting episode for all of you or to you back at home. Now, we are hosting someone from British High Commission. Her name is Anne Nguenye. I know, she's a new face, but we're here to talk about climate. She's the climate advisor. And let me tell you, I sat down with her quite an epic conversation about climate because I know it's August and it's a bit cold so I know most of you at home are really wondering what is happening she's here to address the issues of climate change plus COP26 why we should be excited about it and the controversial bit of it but not more focusing on the controversial bit but how do we address the issues of climate change what is in store in COP26 and why a UK is really proud to host this year's COP26 Thank you so much for making time for the, uh, for us today. But just to for someone who's tuning in right now, someone who's uh, who doesn't know who Anne is. So a brief introduction of who you are. Thank you, Anne. So uh, I am Anne Ngwenyi. I am the Climate and Environment Advisor at the British High Commission in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, I have a background in environmental law and uh, natural resource management. Um, my background started with a law degree in Nairobi. I did my law in, uh, at the University of Nairobi and then I proceeded to the US where I got a master's degree in natural resource management uh, and environmental law and policy. Okay, that, that's one hell of a CV. I'm so sorry to use that word. But um, I know you said something to do with climate advisor and climate is something that hits home and uh, super excited that uh, you guys are hosting COP26. So what, um, what would you say about that? Are you, because most of us like me, I'm so excited to see what uh, we're gonna achieve in this COP26. Will you touch on that? COP26 is a defining moment for the world. And the reason I say that is because we are all seeing the impacts of climate change. Um, in Kenya, for example, the floods, the frequency of the floods is becoming more and worse. Um, the amount of people and livestock we are losing. For instance, last year we lost close to 200 lives and about 130,000 livestock uh, were affected. 800,000 people were displaced because of floods. We also saw the rising lakes. Now that uh, shows that the impact of floods is getting worse and worse. More uh, recently, we have heard that this year may be a year where we are hit again by droughts. Now with droughts, the food insecurity that will result, the amount of people who will go without food will run into the millions. We used to see droughts every 10 years. They're now becoming more cyclical every five years which also that means that the impact on our economy, because we have to then ensure that our people are fed. So instead of having development projects, we are now uh, ensuring that food aid uh, becomes part of what the government will need to support as well as donors. So COP26 is looking to address many of these issues. Issues around mitigation, uh, emission reductions, because that is what is impacting the climate. Emission reduction, adap adaption, adaptation, vulnerable communities. How do we support vulnerable communities to cope with climate change? Um, issues around climate finance, that's something else that the COP president uh, has committed to ensuring the pledges of 100 billion are actually delivered by developed countries. And of course collaboration across nations. The COP is not just about governments, it's also about businesses, it's also about NGOs, it's about communities. Uh, working to deliver outstanding issues around what was agreed in Paris, what was not agreed. This COP 
is intended to close off those issues. So it is an extremely important um, event, yes, but also the outcomes of that event and delivering on those promises is equally important. So how, how are the youth involved in this COP26? Um, the UK presidency has ensured that the youth are front and center it is for future generations that we are looking at. Yes, we are looking to address climate so that this generation uh, is able to survive, but really we're talking about 30 to 50 years from now. So this COP has addressed the youth by putting them front and center. There will be a, a pre-COP in Milan in September. So the youth, and this is specifically for the youth, uh, going to be an, a summit where the youth can voice their concerns, can also voice um, solutions that they see, uh, are able to then tell leaders, this is what we want to see, we need to take climate more seriously. So there's the Milan COP, there's also uh, the Conference of Youth that will happen just before COP26. This is uh, from the 28th to the 31st of October. Uh, it will happen in Glasgow. So a yet another opportunity to take forward the issues uh, to the COP, the actual COP event. And then um, in Kenya, locally, we are going to have an event that will be hosted. Uh, it's led by the youth. Uh, champions, but it will be uh, hosted by the British High Commission together with the Italian government in partnership, supporting the youth to air their concerns. The local concerns that we see, it will be a one-week event um, from the 11th to the 15th of October. We want to hear from the youth, we want to interact with the youth and engage with them and hear those local voices and see how we can bring up those uh, local voices. There are two champions Kenyan champions, uh, Elizabeth Watuti, she will be uh, attending the COP, and uh, Jabril Ibrahim, who will also be attending the COP. So these are your representatives, and we want to hear from you as youth, and we want to take those messages to COP26, and they will be addressed um, at the platform. From the conversation, you can really tell why climate change is a big deal and why we developing countries and developed countries should make it a big deal because it affects all of us. It cuts across agriculture, water, pollution, and anything uh, pertaining climate changes hits us hard, especially us developing countries. This and much more after the break. <laughs>